Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Superstar Saga! Against a new enemy here, Bill Blasters! These guys have 16 HP. Woo! We got a lucky hit there! Nice! Yeah, lucky hit, you deal a little more damage. Kind of like a critical hit in most RPGs. Let's see, the problem with the... Uh, what is it? The Bill Blasters there? is that you can't really counterattack the Bill Blaster itself, but if you do time your jump right, you can at least take out the Bullet Bill, they shoot at you, and get a coin out of it. So that's pretty nice. So let's see, I think one more from Luigi should be good enough. Haha! -ha, all right. And yeah, the Bill Blasters can only shoot at a character that they're in line with there. And let's see, with... Oh yeah, with getting those lucky hits, the stash stat contributes to that. But it takes a lot of stash to really make a significant impact on your lucky hits. Or how often you'll get them. Alright, got a level for Luigi there. Let's see how your power stat is doing. Okay, I can still get at least... Well, I can still get three at the most. So, let's see if we can uh, get that. Haha! -ha! Alright. Got the maximum we could at this point. Okay, so... Is there any enemy behind here? No? Okay. Let's see, there's a couple more flies to deal with. So, I'll take care of that real quick and be right back. Okay, took care of those two guys. By the way, one thing about the 3DS version of the game, when one of the brothers are standing on top of the other, you can actually move around while you're doing that, too. I don't think you could do that in the original version of the game. So let's get on up here and start collecting more treasure. We got a nut that restores 20 HP to all party members. All two of them. Syrup that restores your BP. And a 10-coin block, or a 9-coin block, if you have my level of reflexes, which is not very much. And a bros block there. By the way, with those bill blasters, you no kind of notice they were in sort of like the back row of the enemies there. They don't, like, take more or less damage because they're in the back like a Final Fantasy game. Not now. At least, I don't think they do. So, don't worry about it. Yeah, if you if there's a tougher enemy in the back that you want to deal with first, have no problem with it. So, what are you guys doing here? Oh, really? I didn't see that in my command list. Because it wasn't there. Oh, okay. Oh, sure, why not? Whoa, six of them. Totally unprepared for six. Oh, or you could take them out for me. Or, well, most of them. Thanks. So what do we get now? Bros attacks, or brothers attacks, or whatever. That's what you use to uh, consume your BP, or bros points, to use them. They deal a lot more damage than regular attacks, and they require more timed hits. I usually save them for boss fights, but we can get in some free practice here. So let's check out the demo here of how they work. Now you see those colored circles that matches their colors there? When that circle shrinks down to almost nothing, that's when you want to press the button for each character's move. So you could also select easy mode with the Y button that, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, it gives you more, I think it gives you more of a window to do your timed hits. But it also costs a lot more BP for that, and I think they're easy enough, so don't worry about it. Let's just, uh, put these to use and see if we can take out the fighter flies. Yeah, one nice thing about this version of the game compared to the GBA version is that they 
show you the button prompts at least on the bottom screen so if you haven't done a move in a while and you forgot how to do that well you can just do the look at the bottom screen or you could get in some free practice too like i showed earlier yeah look at that damage oh really well yeah whenever you use a bros attack six times you'll unlock a super version of that attack and there's only one higher tier to it usually they will deal more damage and cost more bp but it's totally worth it sometimes they have special abilities like stealing an item or dealing more damage to spiny enemies so it's more of an apples to oranges comparison really but sometimes they do just deal more damage sometimes they don't sometimes they deal less damage move on Let's see. Okay, let's get over here and... You know what? Let's clear out the... Well, we can't even do anything up there, can we? I don't think there's like a... Yeah, there's nothing up there. <laughs> Never mind then. But let's see. We've got quite a few enemies to deal with around here. So, yeah, I'll take care of that real quick and meet you on the other side. All right, and after that battle, yeah, we got a level for Mario. Hooray! So, let's see. At this point, let me see what we got. Yeah, at this point, you see, we can only get one to two more power now. And so, that means we pretty much capped on the baseline of Mario's power stat there. So, for now, I would actually recommend investing in some speed so that I can guarantee acting before the enemies do. Let's see, we can get up to four additional speed there. Mario doesn't need the speed as much as Luigi does, but I still think it's totally worthwhile to put some into speed here. So, let's see what we can do. Uh, I lost my place there. Ha-ha! All right, got it. So now I will uh, take out the rest of the enemies, although I'll probably get another uh, level for Luigi after the next battle. All right, and after that battle, yeah, got a level for Luigi there. So let's see, how are you doing there? Yeah, you've hit the cap as well, so now Luigi really needs the extra speed, because he's quite a bit slower than Mario there. Ha-ha! Oh, I thought I was really early on that one, but no, no, we, we got it. We're good. So, one more battle to go. All right, took care of all those guys. By the way, uh, you might notice... Oh, wait, is there another enemy? Yeah, there is. Okay, uh, well, hold on. Let's take that guy out, too. Okay, now I think that's all the enemies around here. Okay, so what I was saying there was after, or well, during those battles, I was practicing my bros attacks there. I used them on bullet bills since I could either one-shot or nearly one-shot them with it because they have so much HP, it's worthwhile to use them. And I only want to use them until I've unlocked the super move for them. So let's see, we've got Syrups here. We're all out of BP. Well, not yeah, Mario's all out of BP. So yeah, let's give that to him to help him out a bit there. So that way, yeah, we can keep practicing them some more. Okay, so, oh yeah, by the way, in the Game Boy Advance version, when you... I don't think I had to go over here, but I'm doing it anyway. But yeah, in the Game Boy Advance version, you actually had three options for performing bros attacks. Uh, the first option was you get slowdown and button prompts during the move. And then the second one was where you only get the button prompts, no slowdown. And the third one was... Uh, what was it? You get neither of them. And we got co more coin blocks. 
so yeah, the uh, the bros attacks required immensely more uses in order to unlock their super counterparts. So I think it was anywhere from like uh, eight to forty three uses to unlock the advanced moves, as they called it, not super moves. And so yeah, but you'll never run out of BP if you use. Uh, what is it? You'll, well, you'll never run out of syrups, pretty much. So, don't worry about it. Get the practice. I would use, like, a bros attack in every battle once. At least until you unlock the super move. Let's see, this one just takes us back to where we started on that screen, but we don't need to go there. So, let's just go back the way we came there and collect some more treasure. I think we have more than enough coins by this point for Bowser there. Let's see, yeah, we've got more than enough. But I'm gonna keep on, uh, well, looking for more stuff. So let's see, we are, yeah, we're back here. And let's see, okay, so now that we got the high jump move, we can get up here to get more treasure. Whoa, ow, did I actually like take damage from that? Oh yeah, I did, whoops. Well, we'll be, or maybe that was HP I had from a level up. That might have been. Because, like, when you level up, you don't get your HP and BP restored or anything like that, so. Okay, so we got three here. There's one more on the screen to the east there that we couldn't get because we just couldn't jump high enough there. So let's see, let's get up over here and get a high jump going. Ha ha! Oh, got all 10 coins out of it, awesome. Okay, I think that's all the treasure that we can get here for now. So, oh, I get out up here. So yeah, you see I'm using the X button to have both of them jump. Let me check that again with the spikes there. Okay, 20 HP. For Mario, anyway. And... No, we don't take damage from that at all. It just annoys, slightly annoys you, I guess. I don't know. But alright, let's see. So we got all the... More, more than enough coins for our uses, but let's just save... I suddenly have an impending sense of doom for no apparent reason. Why would that be? Let's find out. Well, I thought you said you only needed a hundred. But okay, we'll give it all to you. How are you gonna let him out of there? Well, that was the arrangement. You did. Ha ha. <laughs> well, that would be true. Well, how about I swindle you? Let's go. Okie dokie. For boss time against Tullstar. This guy's got 50 HP to take him down. So let's go with our bros attacks against him. I generally, or I almost exclusively, use bros attacks in boss fights, unless I'm trying to practice them to unlock the super moves that they got. So I usually save all my BP for when I really need it. Normal enemies are just not much to worry about. Now, Postar has two attacks he can use on him. One, where he tries to fake you out. And the other, which is more direct there. They do that a lot in this game, where an enemy will have an attack that just goes straight at you, nothing to really think about. And then they have another variety where they don't aim directly at you. But uh, they try to trick you to jumping into it. I have no idea what you just said, but we unlocked the super move. Hooray! Uh-oh, this guy's getting pissed. 
Well, hopefully we can finish him off with this one. Ha-ha! All right. Well, as long as you guys know what each other is saying, I guess that works. All right, that was a pretty easy boss. And for defeating him, we get the Cosmic Pants. I don't think they were in the GPA version, or at least not a drop, or I don't know. But for defeating him, we also gain levels for everyone. So let's see what we can do here. Let's see, his power still at the cap? Yes, it is. So let's go for speed. This one's a little tricky to figure out, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, oh yeah, we can get four. Ha-ha! All right, got the maximum there. And then, let's see, Luigi's probably the same there. Mario and Luigi do have different baselines, I think, but let's see. But I think we'll be good here, so let's see what we got. Hey, all right, got maximum speed for both of them. I want to have both party members over 19 speed. That should make us faster than every enemy in the next dungeon, except for like a boss or something. Ha ha. Now will you let him out? <laughs> oh, what's going on? Oh, you're just gonna shoot him out. Light a fire under his ass, huh? <laughs> I don't know the other guy's name. Uh, yeah. Well, goodbye. And we'll never see them again. But can we catch up with Kekleta or Falful? Find out next time on Let's Play Superstar Saga! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!